wonderforest.com. All right, guys, I'm back here uh, to the super tu tutorial on how to create a cube. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to Window, open up the uh, Package Manager. It's going to load packages for about about two minutes. Okay, and I'm back. Uh, so it's loaded the packages, and you want to scroll down to a thing called Pro Builder. This is just doing some Unity's doing a couple of things in the back end. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go up to here, New Shape. Now you want to go down to plane. Uh, we're going to build the first face of our of our cube. Then you want to reduce the width segments and the length segments to zero. And uh, I'll tell you why that's important later. Uh, you uh, you build your second plane, uh, uh, but you want to change the it facing to the right. You can keep this open, and uh, you can um, build the rest of your your planes. If we, if we look down here, position down here, we've already got uh, most of our cube looking how uh, we want it to look. Uh, you, you move it so like it's kind of pretty, it's pretty close to where, where you want it to be. We're going to move our top into place. And uh, you want to move this up here. And that, good. What you want to do is you want to actually uh, select all of your planes and you want to merge these objects. So that's going to turn it into one game object. Is now we rename this to cube, uh, but we're not done yet. So you want to go to the vertex selection. And you want to uh, do you want to select th this corner or then you want to hit control C. So you do that with every corner, hit control C. Now at the bottom, usually sometimes this does this and you want to just you want to just pull them apart. These there we go. Yeah, you can manually do it with collapsed vertices here if you need to. There we go. And uh, here you have it. You've got your cube. If we hit play, uh, maybe we'll see it. Yeah, there you see it. You've got your you've got your cube. And uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name's William, and uh, that has been my tutorial on how to build a cube in Unity. Please like and subscribe my video, and subscribe to my channel for more helpful tutorials. Thank you. Hey everybody, my name is William, and I today am going to be explaining to you uh, how to create fire in Unity 3D. Uh, so what you do is you open up your Unity scene and you uh, move your um, sun to a, a kind of dusk position because it's easy to see fire. What you do then is you then uh, you create a point light where you want your fire to be. Uh, and what you do is you draw, you click draw halo. And uh, we can set the color on the game object to be red or orange or like blue if you want some weird fantasy fire. But I'm going to pick orange. I'm a traditionalist. Uh, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to create a thing uh, called an animator. Uh, and now animators are things that make everything move inside Unity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by creating an animator controller. Uh, an animator controller controls animators. And uh, we're going to call it fire. Uh, so I'm going to drag this over my uh, point light, which I am also going to rename to be uh, fire. And uh, in case I want to use this later, I'm going to drag this and I'm going to make this a prefab. So um, now what we do is inside fire, we copy fire, we make fire one, and then we just hit control D. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make a few groups inside here. So we're going to call, uh, we're going to make fire group one. And uh, we're going to drag a few bits of our fire inside fire group one. And we're going to just move them a bit off center. And now you can see here, this is already looking like a good fire. Uh, but we can make it look even better. Uh, so you take this here, the fire animator. You want to go into window. You want to get animation window up. And you want to dock it somewhere convenient. Uh, I prefer it on the side here. And then what we want to do is we want to create a new animation. I'm going to call it fire. I'm going to hit the record button. I'm going to hit the play button. I'm just going to do this a bit. You see already recording and playing back. We are already animating some of this. And uh, right there you go. There, that is how you make a fire effect in Unity. Hello everybody. My name is William. And today I am going to be teaching you how to create grass in Unity. Now, uh, if you go on the Asset Store and you type in grass, you will see that there's a lot 
of grass options to um, pick from. Uh, all of these are terrible. They are not what we call performant. Performance means uh, good. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up... Um, Okay, so you want to open up game object in the top bar, 3D object, and you might see, oh, there's no grass here, but there is tree. And here you have uh, your first blade of grass already, already inputted. So you can see here, ignore the fact that it says tree. So what you want to do is here in your branch group, you scroll down, you can see frequency. Frequency means the number of things. So you want to bring this up to 100 this looks better than any kind of grass that you'll uh, see on the asset store uh, if you want your if you want to modulate your grass in any way you can do this you want to make a new material create a uh, material and you call this grass you want to make this green right here big old green and you just want to drag this on top this is your first patch of grass now, of course, what you can do is uh, you want to ch you want to change the name of this from optimized tree to optimized grass, and then you want to start um, hitting Control D to, uh, and then and then and then you can start moving. You can start moving. Um, Anyway, that's how you make grass inside of Unity. Uh, thanks for the. Um, uh, I've been William. Please like and subscribe. Uh, if you want, if you if you need any more tutorials, please let me know. Hello, everybody. My name is William. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a waterfall in Unity 3D. So, first thing I want you to do is set your sun to a kind of nice midday position. Move your camera back a bit. Just get it in the right position. And we're ready. So you want to create a 3D object and you want to create a plane. You want to rotate that 90 degrees so it's facing down like all waterfalls do. Position it so it's nice and in the middle. And then you want to squidge it because we don't want a fat waterfall. We want one of these waterfalls. Now what I want you to do is see this untitled one thing that we made earlier down here. This is our water texture. I did it in Photoshop. Took me a long time. I'm not going to explain it here. So you want to drag this in. Uh, apply this texture to your material and you see I've already set it up. It's fade because water is transparent. The albedo is whatever. You want to make it smooth because water is pretty smooth and uh, there's a bit of metal in water. I uh, don't know if you've read the FDA reports but there is. Uh, so add a component and you want to add cloth. I know what you're thinking. What the hell is going on here? Well, uh, don't worry about it. Remove your mesh, mesh collider because we don't need to collide anything. Click this nice little shirt button. Add a zero to the top lines and paint them all red. And now we want to make it kind of move. We need to add some sphere colliders. So we're going to add three spheres. I'm going to make a new object and I'm going to call it water mover. We parent the spheres, the water mover. So you want to position your spheres behind the water. You just want to just want to have them bump into bump into the water kind of gently like this. Perfect. Perfect. This is great. This is great. So, now what we want to do is we want to make these spheres in, invisible. We disable the mesh renderer and uh, let's apply those sphere colliders. Now, we hit play and Bingo. Give it a second to settle. You have the waterfall of your dreams right there. Wow. Look at that. Brilliant. Hello, everybody. My name is William, and I am here today to explain to you in tutorial form how to get the HD render pipeline working perfectly in Unity. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is you want to open up Google Chrome and you want to search for minuteinbox.com. You want to you want to you want to select 10 minutes. Open up a new tab. Search for Unity. Click on the Unity website. Scroll. They hide their contact uh, thing really down at the bottom. This is just a complete. 
bullshit form. It traps you. It captures your IP. You actually want to go to, uh, this is a little hack, Unity LinkedIn. Uh, nobody uses LinkedIn apart from Unity. Find the most important looking person on here. Bart Manning, head of sales and business development. Go back to Minute Inbox and uh, the name. We want to pick someone uh, important in the games industry. Tim Sweeney, bingo. We want to set our name as Tim Sweeney. The email we want to contact is bart at unity3d.com. And the message, hey, Bart. Tim Sweeney here from Epic. Just laughing out loud at how pathetic your HD render pipeline support is. I really have to thank you because so many people are signing up for Unreal Pro licenses, licenses, because they are so embarrassed at how bad your support for HDRP is. Jesus, man, get a grip. Just kidding. Looking forward to seeing you at GDC this year. Bingo. The email has been sent. Now, all you got to do is you got to wait about six to nine months and uh, you, know, you should get right on making uh, their render pipeline setup not fucking suck. All right. Thanks.